So you just added some blocks to your pages and you wonder how can you make those blocks to be tailor-made for your application, for your need. Well, here is a quick overview of how Softest block settings work. In software, there are two types of blocks that you can add, static and dynamic. Depending on the types, the block setting panels are organized into three to five different tabs. For static blocks, you will see three tabs, features, styles, and visibility. A static block requires you to populate content manually by filling in text or images from the features tab. The features tab might look different from block to block, but on a high level, they are all divided into three rough sections. The first section is for headers, which is usually where you set the title of the blog and also set the hero or background images or even videos of the blog. Then you move on to configuring the features of the blog, which could include things like your product features and CTA buttons that you can set custom actions to. Last section usually is for you to get the embed code of this block. So you can put this block onto other websites or applications that you have. Once the contents are there, you can then go to the styles tab to configure the look of the block. Note that style settings here are for block only. If you want to style, let's say, um, the title or the button, you need to access their style settings from the features tab by clicking on the setting icon here or going into a drop-down menu for the styling options. I'm currently working on a video to talk about the best practices for styling and to share some design tips. So subscribe to stay tuned in. All right, once you have finished styling your blog, you can come into the visibility tab to control which users to be able to see this blog. This is done through different user group settings which is another big topic that we'll make a separate video for. Moving on to dynamic blocks. For dynamic blocks, you will also see the features, styles, and visibility tabs. These three are consistent across all block types. There are some exceptions though. For some dynamic blocks, such as a list block, you will actually see two extra tabs, namely the data tab and also the edit tab. From the data tab, you can connect your database and then the block will dynamically populate contents from your da database. Hence the name dynamic block. The edit tab is used to control which logged in users are able to edit the data in your database. Since edit is very much related to visibility and user groups, we will talk about them in separate videos too. And there you have it, a quick look at how Block settings are laid out in software. We will dive deeper into topics such as styling and also visibility user groups in separate videos. So stay tuned for them. If you find this video helpful, like this video, subscribe to my channel for more content from me, um, or share this video to your fellow no coders. Connect with me on Twitter or comment down below to let me know which topics, uh, which areas that you want me to cover in separate videos and I will try my best to produce those videos pretty soon. Until next time, ciao.